Hi everyone, this is my first YouTube video, so in this video we're going to be talking about my week 16 NFL predictions. So obviously this is my first video, so it's not going to be like super excellent and have all the graphics and stuff, so just bear with me for this video and next video I'll try to make it even better. So for my first prediction of the week, obviously today we have the Houston Texans taking on the Tampa Bay Bucks. So my score prediction is... The Houston Texans, 32, Tampa Bay, 28. Um, I think this could be a really good game. If you're into offensive games, this could be really good for you. Like, both teams have pretty bad pass defenses. Like, Houston has about the 28th pass defense, and Tampa Bay has the 30th. So, look for Jameis Winston to put up another good performance after throwing for 450 yards and four touchdowns in his last game. Um, Deshaun Watson should be able to tear off in this game because the Tampa Bay defense is not very good at all. So he can be a very good fantasy fantasy thing. I mean, fantasy game if you want to do it. Um, and then I look for look for interceptions because Jameis Winston does throw a lot of interceptions. So look for the Texans to get extra possessions throughout the game, and that should be able to help them extend the lead and eventually win the game because of Deshaun Watson and I don't think anybody can guard DeAndre Hopkins in this game so he can also have a big game. Generally the Texans offense is gonna have a big game so look for the Texans to pull out in a high scoring shootout. Alright so for my next prediction obviously today at 3 30 we have the Buffalo Bills taking on the New England Patriots at Foxborough. I have a big upset in this one. I have the Buffalo Bills Scoring 10, New England Patriots 6. So, uh, the Pats are going to lose back-to-back -back games in Foxborough for like a very long time. Tom Brady has not been as good this year. He only threw for 120 yards against the Cincinnati defense, which is not very good. So, against the great pass defense in Buffalo, very good pass defense. I don't know how much. I think he'll, he's going to struggle quite a bit. Um... On the other side, the Pats defense, they do have a bit of an issue in stopping the run. And the Bills do like running the football with Devin Singletary and Frank Gore. So they should be able to balance the offense and pick up some key first downs. Um, it's going to come down to Josh Allen, the quarterback. It's going to come down to him. Whether he can make some key throws throughout the game to pick up first downs or score a lone touchdown, so that's going to be important. And I believe he really has improved mightily since his last performance against New England. He's been really good the past few games, so I think he'll be great. Not great, I think he'll be good enough for the Bills to win this game. So the last one I have for today's games is the 49ers seek on the Rams. Um, I have a pretty big margin for the 49ers. I have the 49ers winning. 34 to 17 against the Rams. Um, 49ers are a really good team this year, one of the favorites, I think. So great teams generally bounce back, and that's what the 49ers are going to do against the Rams. Um, the 49ers running game should be very good because, I mean, if you saw last week, the Cowboys actually like drove a truck through the Rams running game, like they got almost 300 yards rushing. So. I'd say Raheem Mostert would be a good option. And obviously, the other two backs, Sam Coleman and Matt Breida, should be able to run the football nicely. And Jimmy G has been really good. I didn't think he would be this good, but he's proven me wrong. He's shown me that he can throw, like, really well. So um, he will benefit extremely well off the play action. George Kittle, obviously, is a really good force. Um, last week, the 49ers defense was not that good. They, um, I don't know, they just had a bad game. They couldn't even stop Julio Jones. Julio was just open on every single play almost. So I expect them to bounce back. They should be able to get lots of pressure on Goff, and then Goff doesn't usually do well under pressure as, like, any quarterback would do. But I predict Gurley is not going to have that big of a game as well. It's going to be another bad loss for LA, knocking them out. 49ers are going to cruise. Um, now, a key game on Sunday... <clears throat> we have the Dallas Cowboys against the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the battle for the NFC East, or least, as you could say. But um, this is it for both teams. This is it. 
especially for the Eagles. If they want to win the division, this is it. For the Cowboys, they could still somehow win the division, but this is their best chance to do it. Um, I expect the Cowboys to get to another division title. Cowboys winning 31-21 to against the Eagles. Um, defensively, the Eagles have been, like, really bad over the past few games. I mean, how do you allow... So many yards and a touchdown to Ryan Fitzpatrick, Eli Manning, and Dwayne Haskins. I mean, that is just bad. And now you're looking at Dak. Obviously, he has a shoulder injury. I don't know what he's going to do, but I think he should be okay. He's a tough man. He'll figure it out. Um, I think he he's going to light him up if that shoulder injury isn't too bad for him. I'm assuming a shoulder injury isn't too bad in this game. If it is bad, then I don't know. We'll have to see if the Eagles could possibly win the game game but um the Eagles they have a really weak secondary and the Cowboys one of the best receiving corps in the game Amari Cooper Randall Cobb Michael Gallup look for Amari Cooper to have a really big game um Zeke I think he'll have a decent game probably 100 yards rushing at least I think and he'll provide balance and get some key first downs probably some touchdowns here and there um the defensively, Dallas, they've been, they got pressure last week against Goff, and I do expect them to get pressure because Lane Johnson is not going to be going this week. Um, look for Demarcus Lawrence, maybe some fumbles by Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz is prone to fumbling. Um, I think they should be able to lock up the run considering they only allowed 20 yards to Gurley last week. Miles Sanders, I don't know. Receiving wise, Miles Sanders may be a good option, but. I just think the Eagles are down too many people. They're way too injured to even compete in this game. The Cowboys have all their stars ready to play, and this is their game. I expect the Cowboys to win easily at the end. The last game I am cho- I'm predicting is the Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings on Monday Night Football. That's going to be a good one. Just like the NFC East, the NFC North is also on the line this week. Um... Aaron Rodgers, I can't go against him late in the season with the division on the line. On the other side, we have Kirk Cousins, who hasn't beaten a winning team yet, so I have to go with Aaron Rodgers the whole time. Um, Packers will have some trouble with Thielen and Diggs, obviously, but eventually they're going to have to rely on Cousins, and I don't think he delivers. Obviously, no Dalvin Cook this game, maybe even no Alexander Madison, so we'll have to see with the running game. Um... I think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a real big game this time against the rival Vikings. Aaron Jones is going to score touchdowns. He's a touchdown machine. Devontae Adams is the key. Obviously, he's their best receiver. And he can have a big game, too, with Aaron Rodgers lighting it up. On their side, Green Bay, they should be able to win their first division title with Matt LaFleur as their head coach. Overall, a very successful season so far for Green Bay. And the other games I have, which are not as important to me, not to me, to like, they're not as good games. I have the Steelers winning 21-10 to 10 over the Jets. Uh, Duck Hodges just has to not throw interceptions. They should be good. Their defense is amazing. The Saints, 33. The Titans, 23. Um, Drew Brees, I mean, what do you say? He's, he's an absolute legend. I mean, he's going to light up that Titans weak passing defense. Um, look for Michael Thomas to have another big game. Uh... I have the Colts winning 27-20 to 20 over the Panthers. I have the Dolphins winning 26-24 to 24 over the Bengals. I have the Ravens 35-25 to 25 over the Browns. Expected to be a little bit closer than expected because the Browns have been the team to beat the Ravens. One of the two teams to do it. It's a divisional game, maybe a bit closer than we think, but they should be able to pull out and lock the number one seed. Atlanta Falcons 29, Jaguars 23, Redskins 31, Giants 28. Denver Broncos, 30. Detroit Lions, 20. LA Chargers, 21. Oakland Raiders, 18. Seattle Seahawks, 42. Arizona Cardinals, 28. Seattle's going to light up with Russ. I mean, he's really good. The Arizona defense is not very good. They also lost Terrell Suggs. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really high-scoring game for Russ. And then I have Kansas City Chiefs, 32. Chicago Bears, 16. So those are my predictions for Week 16. Um You can comment in the comment section how you think. Um, You can critique me if you like my predictions. That's good. Thank you. Um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, 
I hope you can subscribe and like and and thanks for watching.